Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? So, we have a very interesting overall development, and when I see this type of stuff in these shows, it makes me pretty anxious to know why they took these approach, but at this point, with this one, it's pretty obvious why they took the approach of giving us this backstory and showing us just what um, got this team of people to work on this experiment. Pretty much working on the invention of a level 6, which makes a lot of sense why he would know so much about accelerators, uh, you know, attempt at becoming stronger and even seeing how he was number one he still had the choice to supposedly get even stronger and that was their ultimate goal so to see that someone somewhere still has that uh you know goal even outside of their group we get to see just how they were using machines how they were trying to use certain bodies and different types of people uh you know that might be compatible and things like that so it turns into this big overall arcing uh you know fight towards time because not only were they trying to figure out this a way to you know have this the most you know highest level out there level six but they were also trying to use this as a motivation or a way to figure out almost immortality for the sister seeing how her vitals were kind of being monitored by her brother to come to find out that she was pretty much paying the doctor off to uh, give him false vitals and it was kind of obvious every time we kind of saw her in a position much worse than she was prior and then all of us, you know, next thing you know, we see her literally coughing and feeling even worse than she supposedly is, you know. Or then, if you look at it, she's never shown her true uh, pain and st as much, like, pain and uh, sickness that she showed in front of Art, the girl. She's literally showing us a whole new side of you know how far the sickness went so as a little sneaky person who is trying to you know go behind her brother already trying to go behind the people making the experiments and all this different stuff it leads to her finding the person they summoned aka our necro necromancer girl and really learning as much as they can from her and what she sees in the experiments and research and stuff like that you know and come to find out everything she wanted to do wasn't necessarily helpful as much if it as much as if it was just like she was there almost after after a while so she got kind of fed up with just being around and i can understand that being in an area where everybody's you know brought her in from the first place to be the most helpful or along those lines to then find out you're not that helpful you know so it it definitely got to suck to feel that and the person who's felt that the most out of this group of you know researchers and who uh our necromancy girl meets and finds out she's been feeling like this even longer is the sister the sister who can't really put her body up for the experiments to help them out so they're using other people's uh the sister who you know has all these great ideas but can't be utilized in any shape or form by her actually doing it her, herself so it was a it was a really interesting way of seeing somebody who kind of knew their last dying breaths were around the corner but at the same time, they weren't going to allow it to slow them down any way, shape, or form. And because of that, it put her to a position where she knew her time was up. And because her time was up, she was much more willing to take 
the leap of uh of fate into this you know tank that she goes into this week to uh preserve her body oh my god he has to put this third sword from his mouth in his sheath um and that was the kind of like really messed up part of seeing all this was like man she she's literally been putting up with this all this time not only that her brother's been believing this whole time that she was fine and the only time she her vitals were getting pushed or needed to be chilled out he was always on top of it he was always like oh your vital signs are looking bad so you're you're not doing anything you know that was his way of always kind of keeping track of where she was at in the hospital since but we find out very quickly that he didn't even have the correct information so yeah it's it's a pretty messed up story um and it, it does give a little bit more on why he is the way he is not only that it gets even more twisted somehow with her uh finding the girl that is the necromancer and the way that she kind of just lets off steam or finds a way to uh vent in a way shape or form i should say is by taking off all her clothes and going for a dive and that doesn't sound necessarily so bad but when you're doing it at public parks and stuff like that it's not what you're supposed to be doing i don't know what where, where she's you know raised from i mean clearly she's raised from her, a, a separate country but the whole weird part of it is is like there's a place where you can just do that where you're from you know like you can just rip it all off and jump in somewhere got it that's that's what's up unless she was like farm girl and you know there's always been some kind of i don't even know it was weird but regardless it also showed us some characters that accelerator already took care of early on in the show and them being like fans of her being the strip like refresher or something i i don't know what they what they're trying to say about these people but hey they said it <laughs> they put it out there and made them into someone who strips and splashes so all right also they destroy cops for being cops and getting in their way so that was interesting uh the other part that kind of caught me off guard was just the fact of we learned what we've been understanding in the grand scheme of picking up and dropping um the souls of people from the necromancy and how pretty much tampering with that soul or doing something towards that soul loses the real uh person the real essence you know so you're losing that person and that was scary for the brother so he never really wanted to go that route but with her doing this streaking thing and see it came back to it it's not i didn't just bring it up to bring it up guys come on come on it's me anime g after the streaking she gets these new clothes that or picked out by the girl who saves her from not doing it in public the way she was just about to do it. I'm just going to pick random. And by doing that, she takes one of these spirits from her. She takes one of these souls that pretty much replace uh, the dead body soul. So after there's a dead body and you get to it, you can, like we've seen with the redhead girl that she has in the hospital, from who she got from the hospital, is still... It seems like there was, you know, could have been some personality for her. There could have been the girl that was still there. But no, she's just this robotic, stoic, you know, loyal person, like soul thing, you know. And that is what these car these charms are. They're the things that actually possess and take over these bodies and animate them to seem as if they're still alive, to seem as if there's still somebody in there uh and if they're if they're as good as this one that we see in this week's episode we also know that they're capable of seeing what you've been through seeing how your life is and all this different stuff and pretty much recreating it and that was the true like scariest part of these 
weird possessing spirits that I don't even think uh, our our girl thought could have been possible, or maybe she did think could be possible. Be, oh, headshot! And she didn't just think that anybody would go towards them like that and you know try to use them in this type of situation that was done. So I don't know. I'm really interested in seeing how all of this like transpires. What does the spirit, you know, really plan to do? It does want this, you know, high quality body to be able to be in. And it's already given away that it's taken over the mind or like the sole possession of the body of the friend that she thought was in there. But, you know, the brother gets knocked unconscious trying to defend the body so it doesn't get experimented on by other scientists or the other researcher in general. And because he gets in the way and because he like says the things he says and he's trying to, you know, move in on the experiments overall, uh, like success right now, it's, it's working right now. So all of a sudden he shows up and he's like, yeah, we did it. And my name's going to be on it. You know, that's already his, clearly his main goal in this situation. <laughs> so it's it was sickening to the brother and he didn't want him to get any part of it not only that if he is still his name on it his sister is the only reason why the machine is working and stuff like that so he doesn't want him doing any types of things to uh her but by him getting knocked out by what did he get knocked out by again he got knocked out well somehow he's unconscious or maybe he's pretending to be unconscious and he's just like he gets laid out and by that happening the robot who the robot who's in the possession of the body and has the soul of one of the charms from the necromancer is literally elaborating everything and pretty much telling us that not only is she getting this body back and getting pretty much the strength to be able to fight and take care of herself in that body and I'm talking about the soul now he's making the brother research every single inkling of anything more powerful or anything like that to be just even more better so it's getting super sketch and i love where this story kind of dropped this backstory at it's what episode 9 or episode 10 so it's not a backstory that's leading into death that's leading into goodbye you know it feels like this is still the icing right now and we haven't even fully gotten into the deep stuff so we got a lot to learn i can't wait to see what you guys are feeling about this week's episode you guys are pretty passionate about this show and that or like the fandom of you guys that love this show truly brought out the love in it for me as well because i didn't know a lot of people were reading up on it and keeping up on it so to see uh, different things actually playing out the right way that you guys wanted it to and you're enjoying it is really uh, it's really nice to see compared to what's been happening with a lot of shows lately so with all that being said I hope you guys have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be I am your boy the anime G and I will talk to you in the next one peace